day of the diesels. On the island of Sodor, it had been a long, hot summer. The sun was shining brightly. The sea sparkled blue, and the days were long and lazy. Thomas's steam floated fluffy and white against a cloudless sky. He chuffed cheerfully around a corner and gasped. The bright blue sky was suddenly black. Smoggy smoke rose from the tracks. There was only one thing it could possibly be. Fire! An old farm shed was alight. Thomas saw Percy. Thomas! I'm here, Percy. I'll help. Percy was helping to fight the fire. His face was smudged and sooty. Percy peeped, pleased to see his best friend. I'm running out of water, Thomas. We need more. Don't worry, Percy. I have lots. Sir Topham Hatt was worried. The fire must not spread. Sodor must not be in danger. The two best friends faced the flames. Here is Bob. Firemen and farm workers ran and raced. Buckets of water sloshed and splashed from the engines to the flames. Thomas and Percy wished with worry. What can we do, Thomas? We're doing our best, Percy. Suddenly they heard a bell. It clanged and clanked. It was loud and long. Percy was puzzled. What's that? Then, out of the smoke, steamed Bell. Bell had just arrived on the island. Her brass bell rang. Her whistle blew. I can help, sir. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. Buffer up, Bell. We need your water. Right away, sir. Then, with a gurgle and a gush, and a rumble and a rush, water shot out of two spouts high on Bell's water tanks. Thomas and Percy were surprised. I've never seen an engine do that before. Yes, one that shoots water from her tanks. You must be Thomas and Percy. I'm Belle. You're big, Belle. You're brave, Belle. I just want to be really useful. So, Belle whooshed water into the flames. They flickered and fizzed. They crackled and cracked. And at last, the fire was out. Sir Topham Hatt was pleased. Well done, Thomas and Percy. And well done, Belle. Welcome to Sodor. Now, chuff to the washdown. But Belle couldn't puff. Belle couldn't huff. She had run out of water. Trembling tracks. Don't worry, Belle. Percy and I can puff you to the steamworks. Can't we, Percy? Percy was late for his mail cars, but he wanted to help Thomas and Belle. Yes, Thomas. Happy to help. Pistons pumping. And the two best friends buffered up to Belle. At the steamworks, Sir Topham Hatt was stern. You were a really useful engine, Belle. We've never had an engine that fights fire, but you can't do it alone. Another fire engine is what we need on Sodor. Then, sir, I know who you need. You need Flynn the fire engine. He's fast and he's fearless. And he's a really red fire engine. He's a hero. I've never met a hero before. <laughs> Sodor engines are all heroes to me. Quite right, Belle. So Flynn will come to Sodor. You will be our fire engines. Thomas, you will show Belle around our island. 
and Percy. The mail cars are waiting. In the morning, Belle puffed up to Tidmouth Sheds. She rang her bell brightly. Good morning to you all! The engines were surprised. Thomas beamed. Good morning, Belle. Good morning, Thomas. But Thomas was already puffing proudly away with Belle. Goodbye, Thomas. First, Thomas took Belle to the docks. Even Cranky liked Belle. Anything that needs lifting, just ask. Thank you, Cranky. Could you help me, Cranky? Those packages are big and heavy. I don't meddle with mail. That's your job. Thank you, Cranky. And Percy puffed back to his cars. Sad. <laughs> Next, Thomas showed Belle Knapford Station. Percy puffed up. Good morning, Percy. Are you still busy with your mail cars? That's a special job. We must hurry, Belle. Percy watched Thomas and Belle clatter and chatter away. Delivering the mail isn't a special job at all. Diesel oiled over. Your best friend's having a very good time with that big blue engine. Percy's firebox fizzled. Yes. He is. Later, Thomas and Belle visited the steamworks. Percy pulled up. He could hear Thomas laughing with Belle and Victor. Are you on your own again, Percy? Percy was surprised. I'm busy. Thomas is busier with <laughs> Belle. Hello, Diesel. Steamworks is so grand. Do the Diesels have somewhere like this? We have the Diesel Works. But it's not grand like the Steamworks at all. I'd like to visit. We have to go, Belle. Diesel snorted. Then he slipped slowly away. Bye, Percy. Bye, Diesel. Thomas rattled his rods. Sodor Steamies don't go to the Diesel Works. It's dark, and it's dirty, and it's full of Diesels. Diesels can be devious. Oh, my. Hurry, Belle. We have cars to shunt. Perhaps I could help you later? But Thomas and Belle had already whooshed away and Percy was left alone. The next morning, Percy dropped off mail sacks at Wellsworth Station. Diesel saw Percy. He oiled to a stop. Your best friend doesn't have time for you anymore, Percy. Percy felt sad. Diesel was right. You should find a new best friend. A friend who has time for you. A friend who listens to you. Diesel smiled at Percy. Percy wanted a friend. An idea popped in his pistons. Diesel, would you like to deliver the mail with me? I'd like to, Percy. But I have to go to the Diesel Works. My friends are waiting for me there. And Diesel clattered away. Diesel said his friends were waiting for him. My best friend Thomas isn't waiting for me anymore. No one's waiting for me. The next day, Percy was at the docks. He had to pick up a large parcel. 
Flynn the fire engine will arrive soon. This is his home. It is very important. Please deliver it safely to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Percy puffed proudly. Diesel clattered over. Flynn will be another new friend for Thomas. Then he'll have even less time for you. Percy wanted to tell Diesel that he was wrong, but he knew Diesel was right. Diesel clanked closer. Last night, I told my friend at the Diesel Works about you. He'd like you to visit. He told me to tell you that you'd be a very special visitor there. He'd have a lot of time for you. Thank you, Diesel. Are you sure? I'm very sure, Percy. Then, Diesel saw Thomas and Belle. He slid swiftly away. Hello, Percy. That looks like a very special special. Percy was happy his best friend had noticed him. It is, Thomas. It's Flynn's hose. Would you like to chuff with me to deliver it? I'm sorry, Percy. Belle and I are taking the children to the beach at Bluff's Cove. See you later, Percy. Percy felt sad. Then, Percy felt something quite different. Percy felt cross. Percy pulled up to a junction. The right track went to the rescue center. The left track led to the diesel works. Percy wished and whooshed. Diesel's words flew round his funnel. You'd be a very special visitor there. You'd be a very special visitor there. Diesels can be devious. Diesels can be devious. Percy wanted to feel special. He wanted someone to have a lot of time for him. Percy made a decision. I'll take the left track. I'll puff to the diesel works. Percy stopped. The diesel works was now right in front of him. His pistons pounded, and his firebox flared. Thomas says no steamy should puff to the diesel works. But Thomas doesn't want to be with me, and Diesel's friend does. So, wheel turn by wheel turn, Percy puffed closer to the diesel works. Trembling tracks? I've never seen anything like this before. The buildings were old and odd. They were dark and dirty. It was nothing like the steamworks, but it was very exciting. <gasps> Percy felt special. I'm not just Percy who pulls the mail cars. I'm Percy the Brave. I'm Percy the Special. I'm Percy at the Diesel Works. A shape slid from the shadows. <gasps> Percy knew who it was. Diesel 10. Hello, Percy. Diesel said you might come to visit. What an honor. It's been a very long time. Hello. Diesel's been telling me all about you. You're a very special engine, Percy. Why don't you hop in? Percy whooshed and Percy wished. The words raced round and round his rods. No one called him a special engine. Thomas doesn't think I'm a special engine anymore. Or a special friend. But Diesel 10 does. So, wheel turn by wheel turn, Percy puffed 
into the diesel works and into the shadow of Diesel 10. Percy gasped. The diesel works was greasy and grimy. It had strange smells and new noises. And it was full of diesels. Percy's wheels wobbled, but his boiler bubbled bravely. Hello. All the diesels stopped and stared at Percy. Welcome to the diesel wax, Percy. Percy's eyes were wide with wonder. The diesel wax is not grand and gleaming like your steam works, but we are happy to have you here. Thank you, Diesel 10. Then, suddenly from the shadows, with a bump and a bang, oh. and a clatter and a clang, rattled two diesels Percy had never seen before. Hello, I'm Dan. Uh, well, what I mean to say is... What Dan means to say is that he's the boss, and I help him a lot. I'm Dart. If you're broken, we fix you. But you're a steamy, so we won't fix you. <laughs> Dart giggled till his side shook. <laughs> That's a joke, yeah? <laughs> I like jokes. Percy smiled. He wanted his new friends to like him. I like jokes, too. Shall I tell you one? Go on, then. Percy had never told a joke before. His funnel fluttered. What do you call a train that has a cold? Uh, I think. Uh, well, what I mean is... What he means is he doesn't know. Uh, a choo-choo train. <laughs> <laughs> All the diesels laughed. And Diesel 10 laughed loudest of all. <laughs> oh, you're funny, Percy. Very funny. Come, tell us about yourself. We want to hear. Percy felt very special. I pull the mail cars. It's a very important job, Percy. Very important indeed. <gasps> I've forgotten all about my very important parcel. I have to deliver it to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. It's the hose for Flynn, the new fire engine. Diesel 10's eyes flashed. His voice flared. Dot, take care of Percy's parcel for him. You know what to do. Percy was worried. It's a very important parcel. Indeed, Percy. Don't worry. Suddenly, Mavis rolled in, shunted by Salty. Mm -hmm. Mavis was surprised to see Percy. Hello, Mavis. Hello, Percy. Oh, my rods are rattling. Den will fix me. Aye, Den fixes all of us diesels with a whisk of his wheels, me hearty. Ha <laughs> Even though his tools are old and the sheds are shoddy. Arr. You should tell Sir Topham Hat that you need a new diesel works. We have. But Sir Topham Hat doesn't listen to diesels. He only listens to steamers. Percy was surprised. Then, an idea flew into his funnel. Perhaps I can help you. Diesel 10 snapped a smile. I'd like that, Percy. I can ask Thomas to tell Sir Topham Hat that you need a new diesel works. Sir Topham Hat always listens to Thomas. That's a very good idea, Percy. Thank you. Diesel 10 smiled a bigger smile. Percy pumped his piston. I'll go and find Thomas right away. 
Come back soon, Percy. I'll be waiting. Percy puffed and he huffed. He rattled and rolled. His boiler bubbled brightly. Hey, At Brendam oh, Docks, Flynn the oh. fire engine had just arrived. This way. Yes. Everyone was excited. Even Cranky was curious. I've never seen an engine like you before. Flynn smiled a big smile. Flynn's the name. What's yours? Cranky. Cranky? <laughs> That's funny, Cranky. Later, Percy found Thomas at the steamworks. He wanted to tell him all about Diesel 10. Thomas? Percy, where have you been? You're late to meet Flynn the fire engine. Flynn flashed a friendly smile. Hello, Percy. Percy gulped. What do you think, Percy? Flynn really did look fast and fearless. Sir Topham Hatt has asked me to show Flynn round the island. The children will clap and cheer. Thomas chuffed closer to Flynn. Flynn was important. Percy didn't feel important. So Percy puffed sadly away. And no one noticed at all. Percy was alone at Tidmouth Sheds. He didn't feel special. Then, Percy made a decision. No one takes any notice of me here. Tomorrow, I will puff back to the diesel works. Diesel 10 takes notice of me. Diesel 10 will be pleased to see me. The next morning, Percy puffed and he huffed. He rattled and rolled all the way from Tidmouth Sheds and back to the Diesel Works. Diesel 10 was pleased to see Percy. Hello, Percy. Did you tell Thomas to speak to Sir Topham Hatt? Percy chuffed and puffed. I tried, but Thomas was very busy. He didn't have time to listen. Diesel 10 clenched his claw. Just then, there was a crash. Oh, dizzy diesels! Who put that there? Dart, slow down. You'll get bashed and battered. I am bashed and battered. I've asked and I've asked. We need a new crane. Instead of old Happy Hook here. Quiet! Everyone went quiet, except Percy. Of course you need a new crane. You can't fix an engine without a crane. That's what Victor says. He's right, Percy. Diesel 10 lowered his claw. Very good, Percy. You see the trouble we have. You steamies have Kevin. Poor Diesels. It's not fair, is it? So, Percy raced to find Thomas. He puffed and he huffed. He rattled and rolled all the way from the diesel works to the steam works. Percy burst in. Thomas wasn't there. Percy puffed close to Kevin. Kevin! I've been to the Diesel Works. You shouldn't go there. The Diesels are really friendly, Kevin, but they don't have a crane. Kevin! Sorry, boss. They don't have a crane? 
You can't fix an engine without a crane. That's what Victor says. I know. Suddenly, an idea buzzed in Percy's boiler. Kevin, you could go to the diesel works. They need you there. You'd be their hero. That's what Diesel 10 would say, I'm sure. Diesel 10? He would call me a hero? I'm sure he would. Heaving hooks. I've never been a hero before. Suddenly, Thomas whooshed in. Percy, I've been looking for you all day. Victor sent me to the search and rescue center to pick up Flynn's hose, but it's not there. Percy was puzzled. It's not there? It must be. A friend delivered it for me. He must have dropped it off to the wrong shed. Then you must find it, Percy. Flynn needs it now. Thomas, I've been trying to tell you something very important. But Thomas wasn't listening. He had chuffed to Victor. Don't worry, Victor. Percy will chuff away fast to find Flynn's hose. Kevin spoke quietly to Percy. I've been thinking about what you said, about being a hero. I'd like to. I just don't know where the diesel works is. Is it a long way? Kevin, please. How many times do I have to tell you? No chitty chattering. You too, Percy. Puff along. Flynn needs his hose. Of course he does, Victor. Very sorry, Victor. Right away, Victor. At the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, Percy looked for Flynn's hose. I'm sure Dart must have delivered it here. But Percy couldn't find Flynn's hose anywhere. Can we help you, Percy? No, thank you, Rocky. I must hurry. And Percy whooshed away. Percy searched on all the tracks. He huffed and chuffed until the daytime turned to night. And still, he hadn't found the hose. Then, Percy screeched to a stop. His eyes popped wide. Flynn was in Percy's place at Tidmouth Sheds, next to Thomas. Percy, good to see you. Thomas said I could ease my axles here. Until you came back, of course. Percy whooshed, and Percy whooshed. He was upset. Where have you been, Percy? Percy looked at Thomas, his best friend didn't feel like his best friend anymore. That made Percy feel lonely. It made him want to be with his new friends. You can stay in my place, Flynn. I am busy. I have to puff away. Percy had made a decision. He would take Kevin to the diesel works. He would help his new friends. At the steamworks, Kevin was alone. He trundled around tidying up. Victor was asleep. Percy whispered and wished. Kevin? Oh. Kevin, I've had an idea. Kevin was puzzled. I can take you to the diesel works. We'll go right away. They need you. And before Kevin could swing his hook, he was up and away on the flatbed. Percy puffed and he huffed. He ran and rolled. Kevin jiggled and giggled. All the way from the steamworks to the diesel works. Diesel 10 was delighted. Kevin, welcome. We are honored, very honored indeed. We need you. You are a hero. 
Kevin beamed. Dart and then clanked over. Hello. Dizzy Diesels. Time to sling that hook, Kevin. Very good, Percy. Very good indeed. I'm very pleased you brought Kevin to us. Thank you, Diesel 10. But what about Thomas? Have you asked him to speak to Sir Topham Hatt? Percy puffed. He didn't want to tell Diesel 10 that Thomas was too busy to listen to him. Percy didn't want Diesel 10 to be cross with him. I'm sorry. Thomas is especially busy. He hasn't time to talk to anyone, but I will ask him. Then he will tell Sir Topham Hatt you need a new Diesel Works. Diesel 10 is black crossly. Then you must bring Thomas here. That way we will have his full attention. Percy's wheels wobbled. Diesel 10 was serious. Diesel 10 was scary. Yes, I'll bring Thomas to you. Percy smiled. He wished weakly. He knew Thomas wouldn't want to come to the Diesel Works. Good, Percy. You and Kevin will stay the night here now. The next morning, Percy clickety-clack along the track. His boiler bubbled brightly. He had stayed the whole night at the diesel works. I'm sure no other steamy has ever done that. Percy chuffed cheerfully into Knapford Station. Toby steamed with surprise to see him. Where have you been, Percy? Thomas has been looking everywhere for you. You weren't at Tidmouth Sheds. Thomas is worried. Then Thomas wished in. Percy, where have you been? Percy puffed proudly. I spent the night with my friends. We're your friends. No, I was with my new friends, the Diesels. The Diesels? They think I'm special. Diesel 10 said so. Diesel 10? The engine shuddered and shook. Then Gordon thundered in. His cheeks were red. His wheels were whirring. Kevin's gone from the steamworks. Percy was proud. I know. He's being really useful. Where? At the diesel works. Cinders and ashes. Does Victor know? Percy wished. Not yet. Then you have to tell him, Percy. We must whoosh there right away. Thomas was worried about Kevin. But Kevin was having fun at the Diesel Works with a new friend. Ready, Happy Hook? Swing the hook! <laughs> this is fun, Happy Hook! Swing the hook! Kevin! I don't have time for silly games. Please, move that garbage. Uh, yes, boss. It's not fair. At the Steamworks, Suddenly, everyone was listening to Percy. The Diesel Works is old and oily. They don't even have a crane. That's why I took Kevin there. They need him. Victor was upset. I need Kevin. Percy looked at Thomas. His best friend still wasn't listening to him. So, Percy made a decision. Victor, I know you want Kevin back. Thomas must go to the diesel works to collect him. The engines were silent. The engines stared. Percy felt powerful. Victor gasped. Trembling tracks. 
Sir Topham Hat must know about this. So Percy puffed and he huffed. He rattled and rolled all the way from the steamworks to the diesel works. At the diesel works, Diesel 10 smiled his biggest smile. Thomas will be here soon. And where is Victor? He's gone to tell Sir Topham Hatt. So Victor has left the steamworks? Yes. That's good, Percy. Very good indeed. Percy was puzzled. Percy, we are going to do something very special. We are going to take over the steamworks. <gasps> and you will lead us. When we have the steamworks, Sir Topham Hatt will listen to us. And you will be our hero. Percy whooshed. But what about Thomas? Diesel 10's claw clanked. Thomas will stay here with Kevin. Then I will send for him to join us. When Sir Topham Hatt has listened to me. Are you ready, Percy? Just then, Thomas rattled in. Welcome, Thomas. We've been waiting for you for so long. Den and Dart will take care of you. Percy and I are busy. Come with us to the back shed. I don't want to puff to the back shed. I want to take Kevin back to the steamworks. Dizzy Diesels, you have to stay here. We're going to take care of you. Aren't we, Kevin? That's right, Thomas. We could play Swing the Yook with Happy Yook. <laughs> it's fun. But... Percy saw Thomas. Thomas saw Percy. Diesel 10's claw flashed. Sparks flew. Are you ready to be a hero, Percy? Percy smiled. Suddenly, he felt grander than Gordon. More special than Spencer. Yes, I am. As Dan and Dart took Thomas to the back shed, he called out to his friend. Percy! But Percy was already gone, leading the charge of the diesels. Percy huffed and puffed, his pistols pumping as the diesels rattled and roared behind. They thundered through Henry's tunnel as they raced towards the steamworks. Here you are, the steamworks. The steamworks was quiet. Everything was quiet. Everything was calm. Percy was proud. Percy waited for Diesel 10 to cheer and clap for Percy the hero. But Diesel 10 didn't cheer. He didn't clap. He didn't take any notice of Percy at all. Instead, he cackled. <laughs> the steam wax is ours! It's all ours! We won't give it back now! <gasps> Percy shook with surprise. You have to give it back. No, we don't. And we won't. Out of my way, you silly steamy. The diesels whooped and raced. They twirled on the turntable. They heaved on the hoist. They biffed into buffers. The Steamworks was theirs. Bust my buffers. This is a disaster. What about Thomas? Diesel 10 crackled. What about Thomas? He's ours too. 
Silly steamers. Silly steamers. Percy's firebox fizzed. He felt less special than ever. I thought I was a hero. I thought I was important. I thought I had new friends. But now Thomas is trapped at the diesel works. The diesels have taken over the steamworks. And it's all my fault. Percy felt terrible. Diesel 10 isn't my friend. Thomas is my friend. He's my best friend. And he's in trouble. Percy looked round the steamworks. I can't rescue the steamworks alone. But I can rescue Thomas. I'm coming, Thomas. My best, best friend. Percy raced like the wind. His boiler bubbled. I've been very silly, but I'll put it all right. Percy raced into the main shed of the diesel works. Thomas, I'm here. I've come to rescue you. <gasps> Fire! Bubbling boilers. I must find Bell and Flynn right away. Percy puffed, and he chuffed till his coals burned bright. Percy raced like the wind to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center. Bell, Flynn, the diesel works is on fire. Don't worry, Percy. I'm ready and raring to rescue. Flynn honked and hooted. But you don't have your hose, Flynn. Flynn looked worried. Percy, where is Flynn's hose? Now, Percy looked worried. He still hadn't found Flynn's hose. Dart said he'd deliver it to you. But he didn't. Of course. I've been a very silly steamy. Diesel 10 tricked me. The hose must still be at the diesel works. Percy pumped his pistons. We have no time to lose. Together, Percy, Belle, and Flynn roared and raced. The main shed at the diesel works flickered with fire. Then Percy heard a whistle he knew. It was Thomas. Thomas is in the back shed. Hurry, Belle. Hurry, Flynn. Percy, Belle, and Flynn wished to the back shed. Thomas was there. So were Dan, Dart, and Kevin. Now they could all smell the smoke, and they were worried. Where's Flynn's hose, Dan? Hose? What hose? Uh, don't know. What he means is, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Yes, he does. You said you deliver it to the Sodor Search and Rescue Center, but you didn't. You tricked me. Where is it now? It's an emergency. Dan gurgled. Dart gasped. It's in the garbage around the back. Don't worry, Percy. We'll find the hose. Percy wished and whistled at Den and Dart. Now let Thomas go. Diesel 10 gave us orders. What he means is, we're not moving. Then you're sillier than I thought you were. The diesel works is on fire. The building will burn. I think we should... Go? Yes. You're free, Thomas. Thank you, Percy. And the two best friends steam quickly away. In the front shed, the fire raged. Thomas and Percy stopped. They watched Flynn and Belle. Kevin was worried. 
heaving hooks. I've never seen a fire before. It's scary. But Flynn and Bell weren't scared. Stay back. Stay calm. There's no cause for alarm. They faced the fire. Flynn had his new hose. It was long. It was strong. Water flowed fast. It flew into the fire. The flames hissed and fizzed. They flickered and flashed. The smoke whirled and twirled as Flynn and Bell fought the fire. We're winning! I told you Flynn was fast and fearless. Hooray for Flynn! Hooray for Bell! Now the flames had faded. The fire was out. The diesel works was saved. Suddenly, Percy gasped. <gasps> Thomas, Diesel 10 and the diesels have taken over the steam works. We have to race to the rescue. Will you help me? Of course I will, Percy. We'll fetch all our friends. We'll hoot and we'll toot. We'll wish and we'll whoosh. And we'll win the steam works back. Percy peeped with pride. Let's chuff and huff our hardest, Thomas. Come on, Kevin. We're taking you home. Thank you, Flynn. Thank you, Belle. Thomas and Percy clickety-clacked along the tracks. Kevin rolled and rattled on the flatbed. Their pistons pumped with excitement. First, they told Edward and Henry. We're coming. We're with you. Next, they found Gordon and James. The Diesels must not get away with this. We'll stop their trickery with a whoosh and a wheesh. Then they found Emily. She was at Brendam Docks. We won't rest or stop till we push them all out. Toby was worried. Then he saw all his steamy friends. That made Toby strong and stern. They won't get away with this. What they're doing is wrong. So together they steamed. They were fearless and fast. They hooted and tooted. They whistled and wished to save the steamworks. At the steamworks, the diesels were still having a party. They hooted and honked. Diesel 10 whirled on the turntable. Then, the steamies charged in. Thomas and Percy led their friends. The Diesels were surprised. The Steamworks is ours now! Percy was strong. Thomas was stern. No, the Steamworks is ours. Diesel 10's claw clanked. He was cross. We know you want it, but taking it is not right. You tricked me. But we won't trick you. We want to be fair. Then we can help you. The steamworks was silent. No engine puffed. No engine moved. They waited and watched Diesel 10. Then Diesel 10 crashed his claw. How will you help us? Thomas will talk to Sir Topham Hatt. I will tell him you need a new diesel works. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. He was cross. Diesel 10, what do you think you are doing? Uh, I, um... You, Diesel 10, are an engine on my railway. You will do as I say, when I say it. Do you understand? Diesel 10 whimpered. You have caused confusion and delay. The diesel works has been on fire. The steamworks has been bashed and banged. And because of you, 
none of my engines is being really useful. You will put right everything you damaged. Percy puffed his biggest puff. Sir, Diesel 10 is sad because the diesel works is old and dirty. It's oily and noisy. And it doesn't have a crane, boss. That's why Diesel 10 has been bad. Sir, please may the diesels have a new diesel works. Of course the diesels will have a new diesel works. These things take time. Everyone must wait their turn. And you will see, Diesel 10, some things are well worth waiting for. Thomas and Percy looked at Diesel 10. And Diesel 10 smiled. The Diesels and Steamies worked well together. It was tough, rough work. But each day, they all puffed and huffed their hardest. Thomas and Percy worked side by side. Their boilers bubbled and their fireboxes fizzed. Henry and Edward raced along the rails, pushing and pulling. Gordon and Emily whistled as they worked in the yard. And Den and Dart rattled and rolled so fast and so far, they both felt quite dizzy. Uh, oh, my wheels are all wobbly. My axles are aching. At last, the new diesel works was finished. It was grand. Even Happy Hook was fixed. The steamies puffed with pride. The Diesels cheered for a job well done. Then, Sir Topham had arrived. He smiled from ear to ear. The engines hushed. The new Diesel Works is a very special building. Not just because it is new, not just because it is grand, but because it shows what can happen when really useful engines work together? You must all know that none of my engines is ever forgotten. You are all special, and I am proud of you all. The steamies and diesels honked and hooted in agreement. Even Diesel 10 smiled. Very well said. Hear, hear! Percy puffed up to Thomas. Thomas? Yes, Percy? When I'm with you, I feel most proud of all. And most special of all. Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer. That's strange, Percy. Why, Thomas? Because that's exactly how I feel when I'm with you. <laughs> and the two best friends giggled and jiggled with joy. Once upon a time, not so very long ago, there was a little trouble going on.